On this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to fix loose drywall anchors. So stay tuned. I'm Jay from Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe notification bell. So you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So on today's episode, I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks on how to fix these loose drywall anchors. Let's say that you're trying to hang up a picture frame and you drilled a hole that was way too big for the anchor and now the anchor is moving in circles and not tightening at all. Maybe you were um, trying to hang up a curtain rod or a floating shelf, for example, or a toilet paper dispenser and you want to use the same hole and you don't want to move it anywhere else. I'm going to be showing you many different tips and tricks on this video. We're going to test at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned at the end which one will hold the best out of all the fixes that we did. What I have here is a mock-up of half inch drywall. The anchors that we are using are these types of drywall anchors and we're gonna try to fix this one first. Let's do with tip number one. I'm not sponsored by them but I want to try out this wet and fix ready in three minutes. Basically this is pretty much 20 pieces of these discs all you gotta do is submerge it in water and wrap it around. Let's see if it stays in place. All the products and tools that I use within this video, I'll leave it in the description down below if you're interested. So make sure you check out those links. What's it saying on the instructions is we grab one piece of this. You're gonna take your drywall anchor. We're gonna dip this into the water like so. You're gonna wrap your drywall anchor around it like this. Yeah, it does kind of look like paper mache. Okay, make it nice and even. If the first layer is still not enough to, and thick enough, you can add another extra layer as needed. Put it through here. So it looks like we might need another layer on this. All you gotta do is quick dip. You don't gotta let it sit there for a long time. And I'm gonna put another layer on top of the first layer. So it looks like an anchor baby now on a swaddle and we're going to insert it right through that hole like so hmm so it looks like it's actually sticking there now it's very important that this area right here actually gets surrounded with the cloth from what it's saying the instructions it should be ready in three minutes but i'm going to leave it a little bit longer because i have other tests to do this one what you want to try to do is you want to insert the screw onto the anchor itself now this is pink spackle grab a little bit of this good stuff right here fill in this hole this i'm going to apply and spread this like peanut butter on this one so for this one, I'm going to slowly turn it as we insert it. We're just going to wait for that to turn white. And once that's done, I'm probably just going to leave it the way it is. Or depending what you're going to install, you can take off the screw. But we're going to see how well this holds up after it dries. So let's go to possible solution number three by using the expansion foam. This one is by Great Stuff. I happen to just have the window and door one. Um, there's a lot of different types of great stuff. I'll leave it all in the description down below if you're interested. But for this one, we're going to take our ankle anchor once again. And we're just going to put in the screw. Apply a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of expansion foam here. You don't want to go too crazy. Okay. And then I'm just going to insert that in there and spray a little bit around there we're just gonna leave that there and see how well it does so now while we're waiting for all these three to dry let's go to possible solution number four and that's by using just regular wood filler we're just gonna stuff this in with some wood filler i'm gonna butter this up and like what we did with the spackle we're gonna twist it just like this as we insert it through the hole. Okay, let's see if this solution will work after it dries. Now we're waiting for one, two, three, four possible solutions to dry. We're gonna go to possible solution number five, which is using caulkings. Okay, this will probably get really messy, so make sure you wear some gloves if you can. I don't got gloves at the moment. Once again, we're gonna thread this through the hole. Let this dry go to possibility number six and that's using this hot mud joint compound easy sand five 
We're gonna mix a little bit of this and let's mix it onto that hole. We just got a little bit of water right here. Mix it up like so. Make sure that you work with this really fast because it dries up really, really fast. Apply some inside the hole like so. And then you're gonna smother this as well. You're gonna butter this up. To insert this, make sure you twist it just like that. Just let this dry and settle. The anchor that we're actually working with today is this one and it's supposed to be going up to 46 pounds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an ordinary um, anchor here and we're gonna test out how much it can weigh and then from then on we're gonna see if all of this can handle the same weight or even better. So let's install this original anchor. So we're gonna test that on our hanging scale. This will measure how much pounds that this actually can handle. Just gonna hang this right here. So looking at the pounds that it's supporting, that's 130, it could be more, but you can see that yeah, it definitely holds up real well. Now that we found out how much weight that 46 pound anchor can actually go up to 130 pounds before the breaking point, we are gonna do two tests on each one of these. First, we're gonna test out if it actually screws back in without the anchor turning and breaking. And then we're gonna test out the pounds of how much weight it can pick up before it breaks to its breaking point. Let's attach this. Looks like it held pretty well. Okay, now let's attach the weight. I'm not gonna go all the way through, but you can see that it is way close to the original 130 that we were trying to hit with the original standard one. So this is the wet and fix, and I think it did a really great job. Let's go now with this one, which was the spackle. Oh, so yeah, this dry decks, the pink stuff, it dries white. So we can tell, you can tell that it's actually dried on the inside, but it didn't even pass our first test, which was the screw test. And yeah, so no go on the spackle. Now let's move on to our expansion foam, foam in the can, which is the great stuff. Okay, so that one failed as well. Yep, just popped out. We use wood filler to fix this one. Let's do the first test. Oh, so that one failed as well. Wood filler does not work. That's a fail. Now the next one on our list is the caulking. Oh, that one did not work as well. Okay, that's a fail. So lastly, we're gonna go to the last one, which is the five minute hot mud joint compound. Let's go and test that out. All right, so far it passed our first test. So if you look right there, it slipped and started to tear off at 50 pounds. There you have it friends, test doesn't lie. What came number one was this wet and fix. And come in second was the Joint Compound Easy Sand Hot Mud 5 Minutes. Okay friends, so if you're interested in both of these products, I'll leave them in the description down below. Check them out because it is legit. It actually held up pretty well. The rest of them failed. So let me know in the comment section below what you do to fix those broken anchors. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that big thumbs up. Press the subscribe and notification bell because I have more videos coming up for you friends. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.